I have to go to a meeting of the order. I wonder if this meeting's important. <sighs> Alright, well, uh, what all can I find in here? What is the point of this little cavity in the wall? Oh, what? Oh, alright, fine. Hmm. Well, alright then. I'll just fix this, I guess. At least this is easy for me to do now compared to when I started this game. Uh, oh, I can't see what that is. Okay, yeah, it's the lower left-hand corner. Alright, um, why is... Oh, the Bloody Baron, of course. Oh, here he comes. You didn't have to do that. If they really want to reform education, he didn't go through you, he went through me. I've got something. Yes, I know. I will look at it eventually, I'm sure. Oh, you moved out of the way for once. Almost. Thank you. Hmm. These dungeon walls are still, like... Incomplete. Oh, is the Bloody Baron just gonna loop through here? Hmm, alright, well. Where all can I go? What all can I do, honestly? Great. Oh, is it not finished? Oh, okay, fine. Look at this guy slouching. Ugh, oh, god. Although I slouch a lot too, so. Hmm. Oh, this fucking guy is just... Look at this guy. You didn't have to do that. Oh, the Bloody Baron just go through Hermione again. Is that another ghost? Oh, wow. I'm nearly finished with uh, exploring the dungeon. I might as well try to complete it. Uh, fuck. Are there any unlit torches? That would be uh, a logical thing to look for, I suppose. Which way did I come from? There's this hole in the wall, I can't go in. The fuck? Hmm. Ish. Is this one. Now I've really got the creeps. Okay. Hmm. Oh, should I bother Snape again after the last Occlumency lesson? Which, I still don't understand what I did to piss him off in the game. I mean, the movie and book, sure. Will you fucking move? You were... Okay, well, thank you for pushing the door open, at least. Hmm. Uh, yes. Um. What happens if I... No. No, come on. Lift it up. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, it just automatically drops it again. I don't know what to do. Let's see, I can't go this way. I'm sure casting Reducto around aimlessly is a terrible idea right now, but what else am I going to do, honestly? Ooh. Hmm. Well, now. Let's see. Accio does something to the middle one. Or, I'm sorry. Depulsa does something to the middle one. Wingardium Leviosa. What the fuck? Now when... Hmm. I'm getting inconsistent results, I think. Um... Oh, jeez. Okay, well, I'll talk to Snape then. Well, Potter, I'm yet to be convinced that you can mix a potion to owl standard. But let us see if you have learnt anything. Yeah, it's just the same thing again. So I just randomly walked over here, and that looks like a newspaper, isn't it? 
This must be Luna's. Oh. Oops. Okay. Well. Alright, if you say so. Reparo. Hmm. And what can I do with this bookcase? No idea. Oh shit. Honestly, Harry, you should take more care of books. Apparently I was supposed to do that. I guess I'll repair it now. Yeah. Have you found all your things? Not yet. But they'll turn up. They always do. Hi, Harry. Hey. How come people hide your stuff? I think they think that's no reason. I still want to know how many all things right. I have left to find, though. All the hats I knitted are Damn it. They're both. Uh, you don't. You can't help me with this at all. Why can't Luna tell me how many things I've? Or I gotta look for. Jeez. And are these um like water stains on the floor? I don't know. Okay, I heard that if I sweep up some leaves, I can find another uh, one of Luna's items, according to the walkthrough anyways. There was a broom here, yes there was. Alright. Hmm, uh. how do I... I don't know what leaves to sweep up. Well, I'm getting an effect if I do it over there, so... Who the fuck? These students keep just pushing each other around. God damn it. Alright. Come on. Yeah, I just googled it because I'm not gonna... I'll, I'll, I would never have figured this out. Ah, for God's sake. Don't tell me it's the pile of leaves where I picked this broom up from because that didn't work at first. Oh, sure enough, yeah, there's a... Oh, I don't know what that is. God damn it, quit walking in the way, you other students. Uh... What? Oh. Well, what did I do differently that time? Do I just... Oh, I drop it and it automatically sweeps, I see. Alright. Well, all the... Uh, here it is, I think. I see something blue. What is that? Alright, well, I will give that to her, but I might as well... do all four corners. Find all four Hogwarts emblems. Yeah, there we go. Symbol, whatever. House symbol. That wasn't... Okay, well... No, shit. No. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Now, all these symbols have a glowing thing underneath the benches as well, and I do not understand why. What is that for, exactly? Eh, maybe I'll figure out later, I don't know. I don't know why I stopped recording so prematurely, I still gotta give her this. How are you faring? No, I'm not talking to you. I'm still looking out for your things. Thanks. But ma my mother died. Uh, of course... Maybe I give all five of them back to her at once? Yeah, so here is the fourth of Luna's items. It's a pair of boots, or shoes of some kind. Okay, I'm glad I found that. And the last one will be in the library. And the last of Luna's... belongings... should be somewhere... Oh, it's the lion hat. Cool. I think this is Luna's. I've got some things to show you. Why would you? I mean, I wasn't recording at the time, but she literally told me that, like, 
less than a minute earlier. Now this this guy. I still haven't figured out where to get the uh because I can't find a newspaper in the Great Hall. Try the Great Hall. Yes, yes, the Great Hall. How can I get news here? I don't know. Maybe I need to go to the Allery instead of the Great Hall. I have no idea. Short of using a uh fucking walkthrough for that as well, which <sighs> I guess I should. And why can I not aim upwards at these candle sticks? Fuck it. I've got everything back now. Have a nice holiday, Harry. Yeah. Yeah, y you too. I think they think I'm a bit odd, you know. Hey, Harry. I think they think... Oh, okay. Now what do I do now? Hmm. Well, I don't know. I was surprised there was any task like that after the Department of Minis Mysteries. <sighs> well, I'm at the Great Hall. I guess I'll fucking look one more time before resorting to a walkthrough. But I, I don't know. I don't see any owls in here. Um. That's an owl of sorts, but. Wingardium Leviosa! What did I do? Oh, cool. I was not expecting that. Nice one. Yeah. See, Gryffindor is still in the lead. Slytherin. Oops. Ah, shit. I did not want that. Get that shit out of here. Come on. Yeah. Uh, I guess if I want all the in-game points, I gotta do Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw, too. The voice is neat, though. That's interesting. This is like... All the students are in the Great Hall, like... Yeah, this is just a test. Nothing to worry about. Cool. Alright. I assume I'm getting points. I wasn't paying attention. I'm gonna turn it back to Gryffindor at least. Might as well. Yeah, yeah, come on. Alright. Uh, let's see. What can I do with the uh, Headmaster's chair? Wingardium Leviosa, I guess. I seriously cannot walk back here. Wingardium Leviosa! Want a hand? Oh. Well, I didn't know this required three of us, but okay. Oh yeah, that's right. I had to get this move this out of the way to free Angelina Johnson from the trophy room. Hmm. Uh, Dumbledore will not be happy when he sees that there. Can I put it in the fire, though? Let me put it in the fireplace. That'd be funny. Let me get it out of here first. That would... God damn it. Come on. Why I have so much trouble... That's stuck, fuck. Oh shit. Ah, oh. It's getting stuck on the candles, that's what's happening. Damn. I think that's what's happening. Alright. Slow, slowly, slowly. Come on, get in there. Oh god, get in there. It probably won't let me put it in there. Fuck. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I remember, uh, I can do Accio or something, right? What does that do? Okay, it lights all the things. I wonder if I have to do something to trigger the owls to get in here. Yeah. That'd be it. And I'll still have to resort to a walkthrough, because I have no idea. Play with mud blood. Oh boy, that was not nice. Yeah, I can't do anything with those panels. Shit. I was not expecting to find all this. The candles and the banners and everything. This is so ridiculous though. Let me let me put this in the fucking fire. 
seriously. I don't need a newspaper. I mean, I'm, I've beaten the game, essentially. Although I haven't seen credits roll, so I assume there's something else I have to do to officially beat it. Beat the story, anyways. Finish the story. I'm stuck again. Here we go. Uh, I guess I'll do a little more research online and figure that out. Um, where exactly would one go to... Yeah, the entrance courtyard is... Well, it's right here, isn't it? I, I don't know what, what else to do. Am I... Are we sure that this doesn't... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna try this again. Hopefully something happens, although I swear I tried this once after helping Colin get his camera back from the roof. Or wherever that was, some ledge high up on the wall. Oh, God damn it, move. Everybody is just in the way all the time. Let's see if this does anything. Oh, okay. Little dragons and flamethrowers and stuff. Great. Yeah, I lost count. Alright. Now, I also looked up how to get the owls into the uh, Great Hall. I had a, there were a couple tips. One involved um, casting Accio on the lantern, which I thought I did. I, uh, I don't remember what I casted anymore. Okay. Well, the other one, uh, guy said it might involve, uh, like, Protego! shit. Um, involving, De it might involve casting Depulso to get rid of the fog on the ceiling, but I have no idea how to, how, how, how uh, uh, wow. I've never been that tongue-tied before. Have I? I don't know how to aim my wand at that, though. Oh, that's weird. Do I, uh... The, uh... Man, come on. Maybe the, maybe I just got wrong answers. I don't know. Depulso! Oh. Cast a pulso at the lectern to get rid of the fog. Okay, I either misread it or I, they didn't say what it was. So now I'll try Accio again. Accio. Oh, they were up there the whole time? Fuck's sake. Okay. I'm pretty sure one of them was carrying a newspaper. Yeah, I see one. It, it just drops it on the floor. Alright, fine. Come on. Will this be the last thing I do, though? Of Ministry of Magic World. Roderick Bow died when attacked by a devil's snare plant delivered to his bedside at St. Mungo's. Because what I also googled was what do you do after you get Luna Lovegood's belongings back and everybody seems to suggest that that's it. You don't, there, there's like no cutscene of going back home on the Hogwarts Express or anything so that is it apparently. And thus, I will have to just decide when I want to stop recording various scenes. But I guess I'll make this the uh, last scene, delivering the fucking newspaper back to that portrait in the library. I'm saying that's, that's my intention to do the last scene now, before I uh, stop for good. I might change my mind and think of something else I want to try in the afterwards, I don't know. But and then, once I deliver that newspaper to him, the portrait, I will just do my little outro thing, and that'll be it. That'll be the end of this longest series I've done yet so far. Tragic demise of Ministry of Magic Worker. Oh, boring day, innit? 
Okay, the passwords. No news is good news. No news is good news. Harry Potter, mad, ain't you? <laughs> I gave you the newspaper, and that's that's the kind of greeting I get. <sighs> all right, well, that's all I can think of to do at the moment. So what do I think of the game itself? Well, first of all, I should clarify my position on the controls. I complained about them several times early on in the series, but it's my own fault for starting out with the mouse and keyboard and then switching to the controller after a couple of episodes, because I went through tutorials on how to do spells such as Wingardium Leviosa using mouse movements rather than manipulating an analog stick, so it took me a while to figure things out again. I'd say the game definitely has bad controls if you do use a mouse and keyboard, since merely walking around is a pain, but my final position is that if you're using something like an Xbox 360 controller, then you'll be fine. The graphics and audio all seem fine to me, although I wish characters wouldn't repeat themselves so often sometimes, such as when Hermione wouldn't stop reminding me about finding the gargoyles. That's not a complaint unique to this game, though, and all sorts of games do that, but even though I made a funny scene out of that, most people aren't reacting for a small YouTube audience, and they'll just find that annoying rather than funny. This Harry Potter game is also the first where Hogwarts Castle and its grounds are open world, as opposed to previous games where everything is divided into sections, and that's a welcome development that I hope is kept in the remaining Harry Potter titles. The way this game follows the plot of the source material is superb compared to its predecessors in that it successfully seems to find a good balance between retelling the essential bits of the story without dragging on needlessly with too many of the less important details. This is, after all, a game and not another movie, but it really fumbled the story pretty badly at the Department of Mysteries in my opinion. Overall, I'd say that despite any difficulties I may have had, I would consider this to be the best game in the Harry Potter series thus far. But that brings me now to said difficulties. Meaning, what do I think of the video series itself that I've made about this game? Well, there were certainly several moments I thought were funny throughout this experience, but when I have three videos where I basically title them along the lines of an episode where I accomplish nothing, then that's pretty fucked up. And that was my biggest problem, there was just so much time spent running around accomplishing nothing at all. So what went wrong? Well, first of all, I think my biggest mistake so far was letting so much time pass in between recording sessions. There was a week between the first two recordings, about a month and a half between the third and fourth sessions, followed by roughly two week pauses between the next couple of recordings. So that sucked, because I couldn't remember a bunch of things about the game, such as where things were located or how to perform certain spells. But even worse than that were the stupid and embarrassing moments, or hours it seemed like, where I was just wandering around not able to accomplish anything, even though in retrospect some of the solutions to various obstacles were rather obvious. Not taking long breaks in between recording sessions would certainly help with that somewhat, but even so, there were still times when I just walked around unable to figure out basic things, even though while reviewing the video footage during editing, it was painfully obvious that what I was looking for was easy enough to see on the screen. I'll just have to pay more attention, which I know I'm capable of doing since I never made long-running mistakes like that during the previous Harry Potter titles. And speaking of those previous series, the main difference between those and The Order of the Phoenix was that I did scripted dialogue for the first four games, and then tried mostly improv with this fifth game. Practice in general will help with improv, but I also need to learn to just not say anything at all while running around from point A to point B, if there's nothing I can think of to talk about at that moment. Having those gaps in commentary will force me to fill that dead air with scripted material, which I really should have done more often with The Order of the Phoenix. There was a certain quality about the last four series of videos I did with the Harry Potter games that I don't feel I achieved this time around, and that's been my general attitude for the past few months, just not feeling motivated to do much to improve myself and the work I'm doing at that moment. It doesn't help when, after you finish recording the beginning of the game, you discover the audio is all messed up and virtually useless, so you have to go back and start the game all over again, but you hate to redo all the work you already thought you accomplished, so I procrastinated a while on that, 
Then there were two or three times where I got sick and my voice suffered as a result, so that gave me another reason not to do anything for a while. I just felt very unenthusiastic for the most part. But I feel like I'm ready to take on the Half-Blood Prince, so I'm trying to learn from these mistakes to better myself rather than prolong my dejection to the point where I ruin the next series with a couple hours of footage running around not doing anything useful as well. And you might say, well, just cut out the boring parts. But for the most part, I've never had to do that for the previous four games, and that worked out okay, because I could sit down and take some time to think about interesting things to say in the form of a script rather than attempting to improv the more boring parts on the fly and not bothering to improve most of it later. So that's basically my self-analysis here, because I know the quality really suffered here, but I have enough confidence left that I can do a better job with the Half-Blood Prince, which I plan to upload throughout July. And... That's basically all I have to say about myself playing this game. Thanks for watching.